Today we're going to talk about minor chords. Minor chords are triads that look like this when you're going to write them on the staff. Um, just like um, minor intervals, uh, it's important to remember that you want to think in the key um, that is given in the major capacity. The concept of a minor triad is that it is a major triad with a lowered third. That's the middle note. Okay, so you're going to use whatever accidental you need to lower that middle note a half step and it makes it minor. So if it were going to be a, if it were a sharp in, in the major key, that third, you'd make it a natural. If it were just a natural, you'd make it a flat. And if it were already a flat, you'd make it a double flat. So again, a minor triad is simply a major triad, any major triad, with the middle note lowered a half step. So if you were to sing a major triad, one, three, five, a minor would be one, three, five. All right, so looking at this, and don't get confused because minor, we use this term for intervals, for chords, for key signatures. Just when it looks like this, it's asking for an A flat minor triad. All right, so just like major chords, we're going to think in this major key, this is going to be our bottom note. So with the treble clef, um, I'm going to start with an A flat and I'm just going to stack my thirds here in root position right on the staff. And I'm going to now go into A flat in my brain and think, okay, which notes get a flat in this key? It's going to be B, E, A, and one more D. So those are the four notes that get a flat. And I'm going to apply this to my triad. So the A is already flatted, that's a C, it doesn't get a flat, and the E is listed, so it does. So I begin with an A-flat major chord, all right? And if this were written A-flat major, you would be finished, and that would be the answer. But since it says A-flat minor, we're going to now do a next step, and that is lowering that middle note a half step. Currently, it is a C natural, so to make it A-flat minor, I'm going to make it C-flat. So now we have A-flat minor. All right, going into the next example, B minor. So I'm going to think B major triad. B is my bottom note. There's a B, there's a D, there's an F. I'm going to list what is in B major. That is F, C, G, D, and one more A. I'm going to apply that to my triad. I have a B. It's not listed. I have a D. It is listed, so I'm going to sharp that guy. And I have an F, and it is listed as well. I'm going to sharp that guy. Okay, so now I have a B major chord. To make it B minor, I'm simply going to lower that middle note a half step. It's currently a D sharp. I'm going to just cancel out that sharp with a natural. Now it is B minor. B, D natural, F sharp. And you could erase it if you were working with a pencil, or you could do all this in your head. Um, I'm just showing you all the work. All right, E minor. E minor. I'm going to think E major. E is the bottom note. I'll put it down here on this E. doesn't matter what octave you put it in. And what is an E major? Forget cutting grass during. All right. I'm going to apply that to my notes. I have an E, a G. It's listed. It gets the sharp. And a B. All right. So E major is E, G sharp, B. To make it E minor, I'm simply going to lower that sharp with a natural. E, G natural, B natural. That is an E minor chord, an E minor triad. All right, going on into the next example, G flat minor. So G flat is going to be my bottom note here. Uh, line, line, line. I'm going to think in the key of G flat major. B, E, A, D, G, and one more C. I'm going to apply that to my triad. That's a G. I have a flat beside it already. That's a B. It gets a flat. And the D also gets a flat. So all three notes are flatted to make it a G-flat major chord. Now to make it G-flat minor, I'm simply going to lower that middle note. It's already B-flat, so it becomes B-double-flat. Yes, that is a thing. Spelling is crucial when you're notating music. So I know that it, you may be thinking, wait, B-double-flat, that's just an A. Yes, it is, but to spell this chord correctly, it has to be some type of B. It's a GBD, okay? Going on to F sharp minor, I'm going to think F sharp major. So F sharp is my bottom note. I'll stack my three and my five there. What's in the key of F sharp major? F, C, G, D, A, 
and E. I'm going to apply that to my triad. There's an A sharp, and that top note is a C. It is also sharp. So all those are sharp for F sharp major. Now make that F sharp minor, lower that middle note a half step. Two more, D flat minor. I'll put it up here on this D flat, get us some ledger activity. All right, so D flat is my bottom note and I stack my triad. What is in D flat major? B, E, A, D, and one more G. I apply that to my triad. That's an F, it's not listed. That's an A, it is listed. D flat F, A flat is D flat major. Now make that major chord minor by lowering the middle note. It's F natural right now, so I'm just going to flat it. Last one, C minor. C is the bottom note. Stack your one, three, five there. C major has no sharps or flats in it. So this is currently C major. To make it C minor, simply lower the middle note. So there you have it minor triads or minor chords. It's easiest to think of it from the major and then just lower that middle note a half step. There are other ways to approach this. You can just approach it from uh, thinking in the key of C minor, uh, which has three flats in it and do it that way, but it's a lot easier and more beneficial, I think, to go from the major and think of a major key with a middle note lowered a half step. Okay, it's kind of like math. There's a lot of ways to get the answers, but I'm teaching you sequentially in, in, in um, ways that are building blocks, and it's a little easier to approach some of these advanced concepts. Practice makes perfect.